Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn and this is my floss tube channel, Carolyn Stitches, a channel about cross stitch and any other projects I may be working on. I'd like to say welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2022. I have today off from work and I decided I'm going to film a floss tube extra. I'm going to film a whip parade. This is my end of year, end of 2022 whip parade. And I have a basket of whips here to go through. So grab something to drink, get comfortable. Um, if you if you watched my last video, I did a kit parade of all kitted up projects. So I figured let me do a whip parade. And then next week I will film my um, next regular floss tube. And by then I'll have some good plans for 2023. And what a better time than to go through my kits, not my kits, it's already been a busy day. I've already been up and at the store, my, um, excuse me, whips and try to get a game plan for next year. I kind of have an idea what I want to do, but I'd also like to refresh myself as to what's in the pile. So let me get situated. Let me make some room, move these around. Um, I'm on my living room. Husband's not home. Uh. He's at his company's uh, holiday luncheon. So I have the house quiet to myself for a while, which is nice. I figured I'm gonna come out here and do this on the couch because last time when I did my kit parade, I did it on the floor of my um, sewing room and then my back hurt the rest of the day. <laughs> so we're doing it on the couch today and I got room to spread out, but this would be a good idea. Yeah, I think this would be a good idea. Let me figure out where I am and get my plans going for 2023. And then hopefully by next video, I'll be ready to go. So it's probably gonna be long. I'm gonna get into it. I'm probably gonna be quick. Um, there's gonna be a lot of zippers. Sorry, I'm gonna be some plastic. Uh, any questions you have on anything, drop me a comment below and I'll be happy to respond. And Pause one moment because I need to get something to put behind all these. One second. Okay, I'm back. Cats are kind of looking at me like, what's going on? I have one sitting by my um, craft room door because I keep going in and out and he thinks it's time for me to be in there. Okay, so the first little ones I have. These are left over from my small September. In September, I decided to do a bunch of smalls. Um... I got a few done, but this these are kind of what's left over. This first one, I was waiting on beads and stuff, treasures to finish it up. So it is Simplicity by Liberty Street Designs. And I was waiting on um, the beads and treasures to come in to finish it up. And I do not know what the, oh, the fabric is a 28 count Heart of Juliet fabric and Sweetheart pink so that little heart came um pre-painted or printed on the uh, fabric so i just need to do <clears throat> some back stitching and so on the little treasures and then that one will be done i may leave these some of these little ones out that don't have a lot of work i'll leave them out to get done pretty quick and the next small is a Chessie and Me, um, Chessie's Fern. This is a little kit. And it has, let me see what it has. Chessie's Fern Pincushion and Fob with Belsois on 32 count, I'm gonna assume it's because it's a kit. 32 count vintage maple sugar linen by Lakeside Linens. So I'm on the pin cushion. I think I'm doing satin stitch. This is a little difficult because it's um, in hand. I don't have a hoop small enough. So it's a little difficult for me to stitch, but I'll get back to it. Okay. I have these in my little box that I did my September smalls. So I think I'll uh, 
check out what I still have in the box of smalls, maybe add some to it and do smalls again in September as part of my plans. Okay, this is StitchCon 2022 by Sue Hillis. And this is a stitch along um, with some people from StitchCon 2022. I think Chrissy Farmley, a farm girl, Linda, um, Stitchy Linda, uh, Erla, Ice Stitcher, and Martha, Martha X Stitch Craze. This was a stitch on StitchCon 2022 Sal that we did. And this is a mystery piece of 32 count linen that I actually got at um, StitchCon on the freebie table. And the center done. Friends sharing my initials. I have a visitor appearing here, checking out what I'm doing. He may make an appearance. This next one is a cottage garden samplings. Is that what it is? Yeah, cottage garden samplings Christmas delivery. And I'm stitching this on a piece of um, crossed wing collection 32 count linen color bang. This was done as a sample at my LNS on this fabric. And it's, it's gorgeous. It does. It looks like a night sky. So pardon the wrinkles. I did have this in a Q snap, intending to work on it recently, and I never did. So that is um, Christmas delivery on Bang using DMC. Oh, glare. Apologize for the glare. To be a bit everything has to go back in its bag or I will lose stuff and you may hear a cat playing in the background it's the time that he should be napping but because I'm apparently because I'm doing something he wants to play okay this next one is this was a I'm just I got this at the cross stitch covered and I should send a prior video it was a five dollar kit fully kitted. Um, it was a previous stitcher stash who passed on, but it is JBW Designs Reindeer ABCs. And it's on a piece of mystery even weave. And that's as far as I've gotten. I was working on this um, at the cupboard. It's a fun little stitch. That's all the taller it'll be, and then it's very long. Okay. Oh, this next one. I have plans for this next one. I do want to work on this one again here soon. This is another Cottage Garden Samplings, and it is um, for 12 Days of Christmas. See them all. Her 12 days of Christmas. Her patterns are kind of big on these. I am doing um, all on one piece of fabric. She gives on her website the layout, the border design, um, how to lay them out to do all 12 on one piece of fabric. I'm stitching this on one second. Buried in here somewhere. It's a piece of linen. It's a piece of 32 count linen. It's very big. It's going to be very big. Um, but this is where I'm at. So I might try um, grand plans of everything. Like, hey, once a month, maybe add one of these per month. But we'll see. 
but they are pretty big. This one, yeah, this one's going to be big when it's done, but go big or go home, right? So, once again, all the zippers. <sighs> okay, this one is Hello from Liz Matthews. Sleepy Hollow. Using DMC, called for DMC. And this is a stitch along with um, Joni from Joni Love Stitching. We so I got the pattern of a stitch con this year, and then Joni, I was in line and picking a fabric, and Joni and I got talking, and it turned into a um, stitch along. So I'm doing on 18 count Ada by Forbidden Fiber called Dovetail, and we started this um, October first. I worked on it for a little while. So this is 18 count Ada. I almost lost a needle. Dovetail, forbidden fiber. And that's my start. Okay, this is... A dimension, no, Design Works kit, Feathered Stars. This is a kit my mother had, and she asked if I would stitch on it, stitch it for her. Originally came with um, Ada. I switched it out to Jobeline. I switched it out to a piece of 32 count Jobeline using the kit floss. Um, pardon the wrinkles. And I hope I didn't lose my needle. Oh, that's going to be interesting. I hope I'm not losing needles. There we are. My thread got knotted and it irked me, so it got put in timeout. But that's just the middle, the middle star so far. I don't want to be nervous that I got needles missing. Leave them in the project with the uh, needle minder. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, one moment. I'm just doing a quick look to see if I see a needle, but I'll have to be extra careful when I get up. Okay. Next, we have work, the work basket, Quaker Fox. Quill, stop. Cat's knocking, getting ready to knock a cross stitch off of a thing. Sorry, one moment, let me get the cat. Okay, sorry about that. I had to run him off. Quaker Fox, 25 count um, even weave, one over one using a Victorian Motto Sampler um, threads conversion for some of the colors. So it's a, a green one over one, 25 count. I find them slower on the one over one, 25 count, and I've mentioned this in prior videos, is I have a little bit of a difficulty um, starting and ending my floss on the back of the fabric because it's a little tight. Not a lot of room. Okay, cat's eyes. This is a kit from Pegasus Originals. And I only have the middle one stitched. Um, I switched the fabric. It came with, um, I think, uh, Ada. I switched it to a Jobeline, and I'm stitching this for um, the cat shelter where I adopted the cats from for um, annual fundraiser. So it just has to be done by next November. And there's the first one. I stitched that first one in a, a straight day of stitching at um, a retreat. So I'm sure if I just sit down and focus on it, it'd be done in less than a week. So 
Next one, the stitching parlor. Um, this is what I'm calling my Bridgerton. This is a ball at Netherfield by the stitching parlor. I did a complete um, Victorian motto sampler thread conversion. All Victorian motto sampler threads converted. And I'm stitching it on a piece of 28 count Lugana baby lotion. It's very, very pale, pale, pale pink. Um, I'm calling this my Bridgerton stitch um, because I will color convert the um, skin conversion, the people at the bottom, and, and make it for Bridgerton. And I think I'm going to put like Bridgerton here underneath. Um, I did pre stitch my initials and in part of the year here. I'm going to take that out. You can't see it, but that is as far as I've gotten on it. I had to come over, finish. This tree repeats over here, the border, maybe a couple little trees, motifs come down, and then I can do the people. I was working on this predominantly when I would go down to the cross stitch cupboard on um, Saturdays, but in the last couple visits, I've brought in other projects, and this one's kind of gone to the wayside. Okay, this is a Lizzie Kate an old kit. It is Joe Snow. Out of print kit. Very hard to find. Um, it has all the embellishments and it came with a piece of exclusive Kate Slate hand dyed linen. And I worked on this a little at some point. So there I am. We're still working on his sweater. I have to come down and fill in his body. And I do have the other, the um, Sally Snow, his companion piece is stitched. Just waiting for him. So I think when I'm done like stitching this set of stand-ups, I'll pull another set of um, Lizzie Kate stand-ups and start on those. Okay, this is Birds of a Feather. Remember me. On a piece of 28 count mystery Lugana. I would like to say it's a Friday night, like a um, Be Stitch Me Friday night fight club, but I'm not sure. So I got half of it done. Um, just gotta go up and do the witch and the words. Glendon Place, Hungarian folk art number three. This one, the colors are so beautiful on this. Um, colors are just gorgeous. So I'm using the sulky 12-weight um, cotton petites. That's the floss pack. And I also have the beads ready to go. It has quite a bit of beading. This one is on... 28 count opal lesson. Um, I think it's a Lugana. At the top, I'm up to the top of the tree. So I just need to go down. So that's where I'm at on that. It's an opal lesson. I don't think the shimmer is going to come. Oh, there's some shimmer. But beautiful colors. The um, sample for this one, the um, model here, was up at hangs up at Brick City Cross Stitch, and when I saw it, it was just oh, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. I had to stitch it. It's kind of like my colors. To me, it's very Christmassy, even though it doesn't say it's Christmas, but it's very Christmassy feeling to me um, because that's I like the um, jewel tone bright Christmas colors. Okay. 
Oh, this is another stitch along. I gotta get back to these stitch alongs. This is a Tella, um, Tellen Emblem scissor sampler. This is a stitch along with um, my friend Morgan, who I met at um, StitchCon this year. She is Wild Crafty Life on Instagram. And this was a celebration um, stitch along with the rest of the people, with some, well, half the people at our stitch along table to kind of celebrate her anniversary of cross stitching. And it is on a piece of 32 count Lugana Peaches and Cream by Atomic Ranch. Once again, very close. Really close. Let's get that finished. It's really pretty. So it's it's pretty much the birds at the top, more alphabet and uh, border. So not much left. Uh, cross stitching art, Celeste. leg. This girl's got a leg. And I'm stitching this on. <sighs> what am I stitching it on? 32 count crystal linen. Whimsical. My guess it's probably a picture of this plus. Crystal linen whimsical. And there at the leg, starting to do more of the skirt. This girl has a big leg. It's called for DMC. And then it has some cry neck and then beads. This one, I will have to insert a picture on it. It is stitchinly.com has um, a stitcher's code. Doreen Jones is from stitchinly.com. A stitcher's code. It was a mystery kind of stitch along. And there's another one, a version they have a stitcher secret too. So I have both patterns in here. It's on 28 count. Coastal Lugana by Picture This Plus. This is stitcher's code. There are four more left to do. One, two, three, four more left to do to finish it up. Sorry, you hear the cat playing with the toy. And the Stitcher's code. So it says, um, Stitcher, a Stitcher lives here. Don't question all the stash. And no, su there's no such thing as too much fabric. And then I'll have four more sayings. Lamps stuff fall. Oh, hands on design. Let's talk chalk talk. I believe this is. Sorry, I got so many cards in here. This is Let's Talk Spring. And I'm looking for its card and I can't find it. Let's Talk Spring. Piece of Midsummer Night Jobeline, 32 count Jobeline by Under the Sea Fabrics. So I just have spring and summer left to do. I've done um, winter, autumn, and like let's talk stitching. So there's spring. And I'm doing them on brighter colors, not the chalkboard. Uh, spring. <laughs> From the Heart, Needle Art by Wendy, Quaker Bells. 
this is another one that is 25 count one over one on a it says green Lugana it's a very pale green Lugana so I heard the bell um what was it from the heart Quaker bells oh and it looks like I also have a um Victorian motto sampler thread um, conversion from this one also. This is good that I'm going through this because I'm getting some ideas of how I maybe want to tackle this. Which is all these ones that are, you know, so close to finishes that if I just put a week on them, I could get them done. This one hasn't been touched in a while. This is a Bothy kit. Um, Cinderella. I don't have the cover page anymore. It's on 20, 28 Count Lugana Ocean's Tide. You stitch it. It's all black silhouette. I switched out the fabric. The kit came with a, um, an Ada, and I didn't quite care for the fabric, so I switched it out with... I think this is... Um, Hand Eye by Stephanie, 28 Count, Lugana, Ocean's Tide. So I got one page done. I have four more, three more pages to go. So it's like one quadrant is done. I'll try to insert a picture of what it looks like. It hasn't been worked on in a while because the black, it's like stitching a bunch of white, the black gets boring. Another one. This one I kind of have a love hate relationship with, and it's like I love it, but it's the fabric. Um, and I've already switched the fabric once, so I'm not doing it again. Duna Stitch um, Cinderella on 32 count antique white Lugana. So, like I said, this project has already been restarted once, and it's not going to get restarted again. And I think I only have like one page done. So I have that done. I don't know why, it's just a love-hate. I like it because it's like blocks of color. But um, it's like the fabric, I don't know. I switched the fabric, this fabric's better than the other fabric I had. I think maybe I just need to, uh, smaller needle or something. I'll get back, I'll figure it out when I sit down with it again. So far, everything in the whip pile, nothing has been um, a purge, which I guess that's good. Oh goodness, this one I started, um, Mania 2020, I think. Um, Kringles, Little House Needleworks Kringles. Oh, so much progress on this one. On 28 count Vellum Lugana, I believe it's Picture This Plus using DMC and that's it one window done which is the middle window so what one two three four five six seven more windows eight more kind of windows to go and build a big roof haven't given up on it yet just haven't worked on it since 2020 I think This one is, oh, this is a raise the roof design. I'll have to insert a picture. This was a unicorn pattern and um, it was during a common threaded stitcher. It said like, what's your unicorn pattern? And I post it and Janet, Janet Jabber responded and said, oh yeah, I have the patterns. So I have the patterns. I don't have them in my bag because I don't want them to get damaged. Um, I have the patterns, they're put away safely so I'll insert a picture and I'm stitching it on a mystery fabric hand dyed linen coffee tea dyed linen I think it's a 32 count but I think it's more like a 36 because it shrunk um, and I just have one section done so I have three more one quarter done so I need three more sections to go and then there's a lot of back stitching that goes on this thing here um, and I think buttons too. 
I don't even know if I have the buttons. Yeah, I don't think I have the buttons. I'll have to figure that out at another time. Okay. Oh, this is an abandon. This one's an abandon. This is one other kit my mom gave me. Um, it's a Maxine kit. Just says there's no place like home. Go there. And she asked. It's an old kit she had, and she asked me to stitch it. And it's got the kit floss. And um, yeah, I started stitching it. But I started running out of colors. Like, I barely started it, and I'm running out of um, colors, which I don't think I'll have colors to finish it. And hasn't been a pleasant stitch, and so Mom's been in no rush for it. Um, cat again. Mom's been in no rush for it, so this one's been just sitting to the side. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll ever get back to this one. We'll see. See what happens to it. Tranquility. Leave that alone. Cat just gets obsessed with stuff. Oh, this was an advent last year. Um, under the Sea Fabrics, I believe. Um, advent box that I did. And it is Barefoot Needle Art, Snow Place Like the Beach. And the fabric, I have no clue anymore what the fabric is. Oh, Whimsical Winter, 32 Count Whimsical Winter by Under the Sea. And it was called to stitch it one over one on 32 count in the advent box. And yeah, that wasn't happening. I wasn't doing one over one, so I did it two over two. Um, that's as far as I got. So I just got to finish, I guess, the sea and the beach and do some back stitching. And I think in here, there's some other projects. Yeah, there are some more patterns that came. I still have the advent thing together. It was every day you opened it, and like one day you may open it, and there'll be, you know, some Krynikin beads or some floss, and then, you know, like the fabric, um, finishing stuff. So the next one I kind of have here to do is a retro Christmas ornament by Meridian Designs. So I believe that's with this fabric loss and embellishment is for. So I might throw this in my um, small box. And then what else is in here? Uh, so that's the finishing kit. That's the finishing kit for the ornament. Cherry Hill Stitchery and Autumn Wish. I started this for StitchCon with the intentions of filling in the pumpkin on the plane ride back and forth from StitchCon, and that never happened. Found a piece of mystery um, coffee tea dyed by me. Um, Ada, 16 count, 18 count, I don't know. Mystery coffee tea dyed Ada. That's where I'm at. finish filling in this pumpkin and then do the rest of the vines and words. <sighs> oh, this is a sampler. I'll have to insert a picture. It's off Etsy. It's called Sampler Through the Stones by April Kerning. Kerning, Koning. Her Instagram account is M. Broidress. So it's a Sampler Through the Stones. Um, it's on Moonglow, I think. 32 count linen moon glow. Um, it's off of Etsy. I'll insert a picture. It's it's um Outlander. So that's where we are. Jamie's um crest badge 
as the snake like carries in his little pouch sprawn. That's the cat. Um, so that's just about a page finish. Quill, go. Come on. This is in a bag I made. This is a hands-on design pattern. It's an old fabric. I forget what it was called. Oh, this was a start this year. Shannon Christine Designs, the, her 2022 Christmas Club, 12 Days of Christmas. I'm doing a 28 count Lugana Santa suit by Black Cauldron Dye Works. Um, I'll have to insert a picture. Oh, well, here. I'm doing it all in one piece of fabric. Find a picture. So here's day one and two. And day three and four. I don't have the other days printed out yet. Um, doing it on one piece of fabric. Don't have much of a start. That's what I do over the start. It's, this Santa suit's like a nice pink color. So I thought that would look pretty. This was a subscription. I think now the patterns are available for sale. Oh, this is Anniversary Sampler by Collier, designed by Nancy Rossi. Anniversary Sampler. Yep, this is supposed to be worked on for my parents. You can tell I haven't worked on it. It's on 32 count Belfast. I want to say the color is like a lilac color. It's for rat. I guess the hardest part, the big flower is done, so I got to come over and do the rest of it. But it's, it's got so much back stitching. I don't know. To me, it's not an enjoyable stitch, but I will finish it one day. So there's that. I think part of my plans will have to be to like touch some of these ones that have sat dormant for so long. Okay, this is Mosey and Me. Santa's Seasons of Willie, Santa, and it's a kit that came with all this specialty floss, all this um, Rainbow Gallery floss. It's got pearl cotton, just faux fur, suede, all this, this specialty floss, um, and it's stitched on 10 count Heatherfield. It's either 10 count or 7 count Heatherfield. And it was a weird kit that came with special handwritten instructions on how to use, where, like, take the pattern and then divide it up into sections and put all the different specialty flosses in the different sections. So it was like somebody just took Santa here, divided up his coat and everything, and divided up into all the specialty floss. Um... I don't know if this is a 10 count or a 7 count, but it's big. And that's where I am on Santa's um, coat. So I think I'm about done with his coat, ready to start his collar and his bag over here. And then do his head and his hat. So there's that. It's different. Something different. Only three more. Oh, Mirabilia. It's supposed to be a stitch along. I guess it's now a start along. It was a stitch along with um, Vicky, the Virginia Stitcher. It's um, Winter Queen. Started it last winter. I believe it was last winter we started it. Let's see if I can find my little card if I have one written in here, which it doesn't look like I do. 
and I'm stitching mine on a piece of 32 count Jobeline. It's called Summer Sky. Get the needle minder and the needle together so I don't lose that. I think this might be up. 32 count Jobeline Summer Sky. It's kind of hard, a lot of white. So this has been slow go for me because it's so much white. So I'm hoping I get more out into her uh, dress and stuff, more of the blue. It'd be a little more fun to stitch, but I haven't stitched on it in a while. Once again, plans for 2023. And with the stack of mirrors I have that you probably saw in the kit, and then I just, or I, before this video, I sat down in my sewing room and I was... Um, Organized. I got a, a separate storage container just for my mirrors and was organizing my mirrors and it's like, yeah, I'll never live long enough to stitch all these, but I don't care. I have them for when I feel like starting them. And if I focus on them, sometimes I stitch them faster than I think. Oh, this is another mirror. This one is Thanksgiving Harvest Fairy. Mabilia. It's a kit, so it came with 32 count natural linen from Zweigart. And it came with um, some, oh, it's a mess, some specialty flosses. It's a mess. So I had a small start on her. So that my torso and started the flowers. And the last one, I started this right when it came out, I think it was Expo last year. And called for floss, DMC Weeks, Crescent Colors. And I am stitching mine on 32 count Winter Wren Linen by Fox and Rabbit. And I'm trying to find the cover sheet, Moonlight Sampler. So I had this as a stitch along I started, and um, I haven't stitched on it in a little while. But it's Moonlight Sampler Blue Blue Flower on 32 count Winter Wren Linen. I love this. Love this, love this, love this. I'm trying to get it all, ooh, it's big. It's not gonna get all this in one shot on the board. But top half's done. And then I almost found the bottom. So I'm getting there. Look at the color. This color just pops against this fabric. But we're getting there. Okay, that is all my whips. Didn't take too long. I'm surprised. I have no idea how many I have. I guess I'll count them as I put them away. And as I put them away, I will think about, I'll try to make a game plan of how I'm gonna tackle these whips in 2023. And then hopefully I will have an update for you on the next video. So I'm gonna go put this mess away and then settle in and do some stitching and some organizing. Finally got my serger back after three and a half, three weeks at the repair shop. That was a whole other story. So at least my serger's back. I can prep some fabric, organize my stitching, settle in. We have our version in South Florida of the Arctic blast, whatever they're calling it, bomb cyclone, I don't know, cyclone blast, Arctic cyclone, whatever they're calling it. We have our version of that coming, it's supposed to be tonight. It's supposed to make it into South Florida. So it'll be very cold for us. We'll have lows in the low 40s, high 30s, and our highs won't get out of the 50s over the weekend. So very cold for Florida. Um, they already put out the falling iguana alerts. So beware of the falling iguanas from the trees. And this is no joke. These things can be very big. They just kind of go in a state of suspension when it gets too cold for them and they fall out of the trees people think they're dead 
people have been known to pick them up, put them in their cars, and then they come alive when they hit the warm car. So it's like, leave them alone. Um, yeah, so everyone have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. My next video, I will be a regular floss tube video and give updates on what I've been working on, what I've been stitching on. I have been very busy on one project, very dedicated on one project, stitching it. Don't think I'm going to get it done before Christmas, but I'm dedicated to keep going until it's finished. So until then, everyone have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you on the next floss tube. Bye, everyone.